Hi, I'm Madeline Newton. Uh, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to paint this lovely two drawer side table. Well, it is going to be lovely after we have finished with it. Um, the colours I'm going to use today are our rich duck egg, which is absolutely beautiful, and our aged white, which is not white cream. First coat I'm going to use aged white, the second coat rich duck egg, and then I'm just going to distress it back and finish it with a waxing. Um, as you can see, it's in rather bad condition at the moment, it's all scratched and scuffed. But what I'm going to do is paint straight over it. No sanding, no preparation needed, just a quick wipe off with the cloth, get the dust off it, and off you go. Um, if you have any questions after this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at newtonspaints.co.nz you can contact us on the website, just push the contact button, or email us at newtonspaints at gmail.com. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First thing I'll do is take the handles off. Um, unfortunately, I can't get the handles completely off here. There's a little base plate left on there, but that'll be okay. I think I might just paint over it um, and keep the main part of the handles natural. So I'll just put them aside and the next step is quite simply just to give it a wipe down and all I've put is a bit of water on a sponge and I'm just getting rid of the dust and any other dirt that might have accumulated over time. So I've got my paintbrush all ready to go, can't wait to get into it. So that's basically all the preparation work done. Painting. Um, this is the aged white. I've just given the tin a bit of a shake and got my trusty brush here. And as you know, I've done no sanding, I'm just painting my first coat of aged white straight on over. Um, we've finished painting the first coat. As you see, it didn't take me long. I'd say it took me mm, 15 to 20 minutes all up. Um, you don't have to be too particular about how you're brushing it. I'm going for the shabby chic French style look. This will take about an hour to dry and then we'll come back and we'll put our second coat of our gorgeous rich duck egg blue over the top. Right, now we're going to put on our beautiful duck egg blue straight over the white, now that it's dry. Uh, we're talking probably, yeah, about an hour since I put the first coat on, so it dries really quickly. It's not fully cured, but it's fine to paint over in the second coat. So here we go. Now, I'll put the second coat of duck egg on, um, that probably took about 15 minutes, and now while the paint is still wet, I've got a damp rag here, just an old sheet that I've torn up, and I'm just going to rub a wee bit of the duck egg back to reveal the aged white underneath. So this is just preliminary to it drying, and then I'm going to um, get some sandpaper out and distress it. So, I'm just going to rub back in certain little bits here just to reveal a bit of the surface underneath. So it's even going down to the timber and parts where it has actually dried. Just picking out little spots where it would normally get bumped and touched with age. I think now we'll leave it to dry 
see how it comes out when it's dry and then I'll get the sandpaper out, give it a bit more of a sanding and then we'll be putting um, some Newton's clear wax over it to protect it and enhance it and give it a lovely luster and depth of colour. Right, we're back and it's a day later. The paint has dried now. It's not fully cured, but it's okay for the sanding back process. Um, I don't need to do too much because I've wiped it back previously while it was still wet, but I'm just going to touch it up. So um, this is 160 grit sandpaper. It doesn't really matter what grit you've got, but this will give a finer finish. If you use too coarse a grit, it'll make line marks and make it quite rough, the sanding back. So I use about a, quite a um, gentle one, which is 160 grit. Right, so I'm just going to proceed on and just go over. Right, now we have finished doing our distressing and we're ready for the waxing stage. Um, the paint's been dry now for um, a couple of days, so it's, it's a good time to be doing it now. Um, so what we're going to use is our Newton's Liquid Canoeva Wax. Um, it's a beautiful wax, it's one of the hardest waxes that you can use. Uh, it's in liquid form, which is a bit unique. Uh, usually they're in a paste type form. Um, and it's a honey creamy sort of colour so it is going to give your uh, pieces a bit of a, a golden glow. Um, it smells beautiful, it's eco-friendly and um, yeah, totally natural. So what I'm going to do is pour a bit into this little bowl here and I'm going to brush it on. Um, the brush that I use is my favourite brush which I use for painting as well which is a little Worcester brush but it's see it's angled but um, that's good for when you're painting and you can get into the corners but it's also a nice soft brush it's not too soft because you need control but not too hard that you've got to get too many brush marks in it so this is the special weapon right so what I'm going to do I'm going to actually put this on over the whole top at once we don't want it to be patchy so I'm just going to brush it on quite thinly over the whole thing this uh, wax dries so quickly uh, it doesn't pay to do it in two smaller patches because then you'll find that you have to take off the next little piece at exactly the same time to get the same uh, colour. Two minutes, nice. And you can probably see already it's given a nice sort of golden glow and a depth and a bit of shine. And it's going to protect it at the same time. Now about two minutes has gone. It's still slightly tacky, but you can tell it is drying. I am now just going to polish off the whole thing with my Kleenex rag. Any rags will do, just make sure it hasn't got lint on it. So gets all caught up in it and that's it feels quite sticky when you're first rubbing it off but the more you rub the smoother it starts feeling so this is going to protect it a wee bit you you will probably have to re reapply it probably every three to six months depending on the use 
tabletop skinning. The legs and that side of it won't be so much reapplied. That's coming out lovely. A bit of elbow grease. You can really see it polishing up on it. And it's becoming smooth feeling. So I'm going to continue on and just do the whole piece in the same way. I'll probably just do the front and then buff that off, the sides, buff that off, and the back and buff that off. So do it in smaller patches at a time, don't paint over the whole thing, but be aware too that um, if you're doing a whole unified piece to make sure that you don't do it in patches, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and next we'll be having the reveal after I finish this. So uh, the reveal will be next. I'll put the handles back on and hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Here we are with our completed piece. I think it came up quite beautifully. So we tried to um, emulate the French style with it and I think we've succeeded. So just to recap, we used Age White, Newton's Age White, and over the top of that we used the Rich Duck Egg, and then we finished it in the clear wax. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you've got any questions, go along to our website at www.newtonspaints.co.nz. You can look at our FAQ, uh, Frequently Asked Questions, or alternatively, uh, contact us via the contact button on the site. Have a great day everybody, thank you.